my name is Cade Skews. For my presentation, I focus on food poisoning, an unknown killer. So what I wanted to look at was how dangerous and deadly is food poisoning in the United States, because oftentimes it's overlooked as one of the more serious diseases. So for my claim, I said food poisoning is one of the most dangerous and deadly illnesses that one commonly gets in America, but it's not really worried about. So for example, this is a graphic created by the CDC that shows uh, areas impacted by different cases of food poisoning. For example, this one was focused on a uh, bad case of chicken, whereas this one was a problem with some type of sushi. So what exactly is food poisoning? The CDC defines food poisoning as a gastrointestinal illness that results from the consumption of one of three categories, poisons present in plants or animals, chemical poisons, as well as microorganisms. So this is a list of some of the most common chemicals in bacteria. So as you can see, a lot of these are from uh, food sources that are usually meat-based or dairy-based. So like meat that's frozen in broccoli, milk, fried rice, beef, poultry meat, beans, broths, ribs, crab. So all, in all these cases, it's from whenever it's not cooked well enough or not stored properly or pasteurized properly. So as you can see, they vary in times it takes for symptoms to show up. So for example, this one only takes two to six hours, whereas the, as this one takes less than 96 hours. So it varies wildly on how, where, how long it takes for them to show up. So it may be hard to figure out what the source is without uh, getting it from multiple people. So some examples of bacteria include salmonella and E. coli, and some plant and animal poisons include shellfish poisoning, fish poisoning, as well as mushroom poisoning. And some pesticides and uh, fungicides include mercury poisoning and cadmium poisoning. So those are just some cases, if they're not properly cooked, you can contract these types of poisonings or bacteria that can make you ill. So food poisoning by numbers. There's around 250 different foodborne illnesses that have been identified. It's estimated that around 48 million people get sick from foodborne illnesses. This is roughly about the same as the flu every year. 50 million people get uh, infected with the flu every year. So this is a very close number to how many people get the flu. So due to the amount of sick cases, these are not reported. So that 48 million, million is just estimated because a lot of cases really aren't reported. Because very mild, like stomach, stomach aches or fever, not many people really care to go to the hospital report it. So around 20 to 40 food, large scale food poisoning cases are investigated every week. So that's various companies that need to make sure that they're keeping in check and that everything is being cooked well. This photo shows a case where there is salmonella, uh, salmonella break with peanut butter. There were around 714 people uh, that got infected with it in, four, in 47 different states. So a few famous cases of food point illnesses include uh, e. coli and sandwich Ebola in 2015, which over 500 people reported sick. The gastrointestinal problem with Ebola in 2016, which resulted in 700 people being reported sick, thousands of sick with romaine lettuce. Hepatitis A outbreak in Manaka, which is an area very near here. 640 people were affected and four people died in the restaurant that just took place that ended up being closed. The, the most famous incident is Listeria and Dermosco cheese, which resulted in 52 different deaths from uh, this cheese. And then Peanut Corporation, which was Salmonella, ended up having 714 people get uh, Salmonella across 46 different states. So this is a list taken from the CDC website that lists a few different uh, advisories at the moment. So for example, butterball and turkey, picking the produce by at the, uh, some pork products or main lettuce. So these, this is the list on the CDC website that is often updated with different advisories. So it's not just one food, food it's a whole bunch of foods that are, uh, have issues with food uh, poisoning. So some of the food problems with food poisoning, as I mentioned, symptoms are very blue-like. It can involve a fever, stomach cramps, diarrhea, vomiting, and uh, other problems. People often don't recognize that this has been caused by pathogens in their food. So, like I said, the symptoms are very flu-like, so they don't really care to report it because they think that they can just handle it. Well, sometimes it may be serious in some cases and result in death. But some people are at greater risk for food poisoning, such as infants, the elderly, as well as women that are pregnant. So overall, the verdict, food poisoning can be caused from over 250 different toxins and bacteria. About the same number of people are infected with food poisoning as flu per year. Most people don't have to report their cases because they think it would be very mild, but sometimes it can take a turn for the worse and even result in death. Thank you for listening to my presentation.